Do you know the difference between set point and active downforce? In this video, I'll explain the difference between set point and active downforce and show what downforce information is displayed on the monitor in both set point and active modes. When in set point mode, the downforce system will maintain the amount of force applied to the row unit but will not respond to changes in field conditions. The target margin is shown on the left and the actual margin is shown on the top graph. On the lower graph, the operator can view either applied downforce or change to view ground contact. If the row unit runs into hard soil, the margin will drop. The bars will turn orange as margin nears the alarm limit and red if it drops below the alarm limit. In this case, it is up to the operator to increase downforce in order to maintain margin. To change the applied downforce, press on the target. The downforce module opens. Adjust the applied downforce by entering a number into the box or use the plus and minus buttons. Press on the target margin to open the downforce module and switch the system to active mode. When in active mode, the downforce system will maintain the amount of margin at the row unit and will adjust for changes in field conditions. The target margin is shown on the left and the top graph shows margin at the row unit. On the lower graph, the operator can still view either applied downforce or switch to view ground contact. If the row unit runs into hard soil, the margin will drop and the system will automatically add force to the row unit in order to maintain margin. Active downforce greatly reduces the number of adjustments required. If the operator chooses to adjust the margin, press on the target. The downforce module opens. Adjust the margin by entering a number into the box or use the plus and minus buttons. You should now be able to explain the difference between set point and active downforce and describe what downforce information is shown on the display in both set point and active modes.